The second semi finals of the two on twos. Make some noise, man. Let's go, go semi finals. Go. Let's go. <laughs> 200 pounds on the line, man. With 200 pounds, you can buy 20 of these. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Right. Um, who's caught for it? On the right, um, Baron Mine and Calcium Kid. We've got Baron Mine and Calcium Kid on the right. They've got Bomber Man. Beat him. And yeah. on the left, we've got the twin brothers, O'Shea yeah. and Innuendo. Make some noise. Yeah. yeah. Brooke O's all day, last Smith Down Road. Willow Bank as well. Lodge Lane, Lawrence Road, Smith Down Road, all those places. Allerton, Yates is. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Buckingham Palace. Do you want to take a good first or what? Right. right, who's. Yo, we got one minute on O'Shea and Innuendo, let's go. Right. See, after that event in Bristol, me, him, and him went for a little walk all night. <laughs> Now we ended up having an awesome night, but me and him thought you were sort of tight because we went in 10 pubs before you'd even bought a pint, right? And then we went back to some random house party where you nearly caused a fight after you got caught robbing that student bed's full bottle of Morgan Spice. <laughs> you got so liquid you couldn't walk up right, you were short of sight, we thought you might have been snorting white because to the morning light, we're only talking shite. <laughs> yeah. And these woolly back faggots claim they hate Liverpool, but every weekend they can be found in Liverpool. They all support Everton or Liverpool and have Beatle posters on the fucking living room. <laughs> Listen, you woolly back faggot, you wouldn't beat me if you were good at black magic. Your lyrics are ha haphazard, you've got bad manners and you need to fuck off. Cap callous. <laughs> Yo, and you're so much of a wool, you genetic old half sheep. You haven't even got a heartbeat, you've got a heart bleat. You stay, you stay up all night counting humans, so no wonder that you can't sleep. But I'm a carnivore and this little lamb's too chicken to start beef. Listen, I'll rap like calcium. Sorry. Listen, oh. Sorry, lads. Oh. Save right. that for the next round. You're good to go, yeah? Second, first. Innuendo's a prick! And after hearing you got in Helen's knickers, all I got was a smelly finger from playing with a sweaty kipper, I never did her. But it gets better, kid, see she told me some shit that's fatal. Like you asked if you could give her anal over a housemate's kitchen table and let her bagel minutes after she'd finished waiting for Mr. Abel. I hope your unborn kid's disabled and you drink till you're ill. So if I don't kill your cirrhosis of the liver, sure will. I was looking for opponents with a little more skill, not some knockoff Jimmy Corkill and pissing Orville. I'm 75% sure you both guys, you both caught the H bomb. <laughs> Off H bomb. It's genuine. You're so scouse, you steal from your own house. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fucking you end up, your style is rack. Rap. Your style is whack. Before you ever laid a track or made a rap, you shave your back. <laughs> That's true. That's some serious true shit. And the pleats you stick down your throat makes me sick. He's in there so much, Greg's are thinking of changing their name to Mick. Time. Ready? Round. Jason Ailes, I hope you get your fucking face impaled on a bed that's been made of nails, then get arse raped by six six foot six skinhead racist males. <laughs> yeah, fuck racist males. Bad of mine's fat ass to break the scales. I've seen him in Liverpool many a times chasing tail, and it's more fucking awkward than trying to fucking escape from jail. Listen, and I know fucking Gemma hate you, but I can't hate her. See, I've also been on the wrong end of a fucking heartbreaker. Left a hole in my soul like a fucking large crater, but at least mine didn't fuck off to Marbella. <laughs> Listen, what are you laughing at, fucking faggot? You mad, ain't you? I'll fucking ass rape a scar face and cut your fucking hand off. Darth Vader. <laughs> Listen, kid, uh, I'm the best at spitting it. You got a few nice punches, but the rest ain't hitting it. I'm sick with it, off the top and especially written shit. So when prepping for this, I went even stressed a little bit. With every breath, I'm killing it. I'm blessed with bars. It's ironic that you work as a registrar, because by accepting this shit, kid, you signed your own death certificate. Yeah, yeah you must yeah. have made a great impression on that Gemma bird. The way she texted fucking Evilla every word. She told him some stuff that we'll just pretend we never heard. You I am bastard, you said you'd slept with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
staan er voor. Kijk eens voor Hij staat. You both need a toupee. You weigh 2,000 pounds. 2K! <laughs> yes, yes, yes! <laughs> right, uh, <laughs> I know that made me laugh as well. Right, go ahead, go ahead. Go Alright, Gemma, do to it, never do you! Yeah, I know what she's been telling to Thank you, God. but I didn't wish I'd punch my missus' stomach after finding she was pregnant, loser! Right, I once put on a track and heard innuendo say that Liverpool lads dress sexy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and this, that's a punchline within itself, right there. Right, <laughs> genuinely is. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go Yo, go ahead. innuendo's a prick! And when that friggin' bitch told Little Dick here in my syphilis, they could have built an entire Dick Limerick Academy from the amount of bricks he's shit. Right. Did I mention innuendo is a prick? I mean, after that last doubles when he got ditched for Rick, he should have partnered up with 2K like your missus did, oh. ain't it, mate? Oh. Right. I will tell your bitch she's fat until she cries, spread the lavia wide and drop kick the fucking baby inside. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, here's the definition of someone from Birkenhead. The lads go out in town with fucking rock ports and turtlenecks. The beards wear white socks with a purple dress. They fucking shop at McDonald's and dry off with serviettes. <laughs> and fuck you bad in mind, you spastic faggot. You sound like Jasper Carris, and that is tragic. Yo, you're not ready, I'll hurry you in. You when the will trouble you, cause I'm better at anything, better, I'm better at Bookaroo. And I'm like a Mercedes Benz when I'm out running you. So believe this BM and get in the W. Listen, oh, I ain't good as innuendo with that multi-syllable <laughs> quick shit. But I'm from Liverpool and you're from Widow, bitch. Yo. Yeah. And I'm a fucking bad man. O'Shea is a gangster. I watched him shit on that shark. You wouldn't piss on an hamster. <laughs> you're getting mugged off, you little cunt. Watch. I blurt on the fucking butties in your lunchbox. You don't push rocks, you just look soft. So fuck you and fuck off with those fucking Facebook mug shots. Oh. Are you? Oh. Right. Stop relying on dumb luck, you glum schmuck. I'll force your mum to eat chicken that's uncooked while I beat her with nunchucks. <laughs> right, right. You think you're slick, ditching Rick when Mick's a prick. Only rats leave sinking ships. True fact. And I do work as a registrar, where doing marriages is a part of it. He's just pissed off. I told him his and O'Shea's civil partnership was void and broke their fucking little hearts to bits. <laughs> right. Right, I bought your album and thought it was fucking whack. <laughs> Call me a woolly back, I'll break in your mummy's gaff in a scully cap and steal my fucking money back. Yes. <laughs> and before his battle with Unanimous, he was talking it up on online forums for months, only for that short little cunt to end up calling his bluff. Ooh. Right, oh, you hey. say you'll murder me, but I doubt it. I'll kill your mother with a shoehorn just to write a fucking rap about it. <laughs> That's true as well. Fuck That's these bastard right. scousers! <laughs> right, um. Why did you come wearing matching jackets? <laughs> you fucking faggots. <laughs> Time! Oh, shit. Good stuff. Yeah. That was an amazing battle, but O'Shea and Innuendo got it. More punches than that. Massive improvement right there, man, from calcium and barrel mind, yeah. And that's fucking true. He went doing no shit all day. Go on. That's true. Bear in mind that calcium were ill. They were funny <laughs> as fuck and had some ill shit. But I gotta go with my dudes. I gotta go with innuendo and O'Shea. I'm sorry, they fucking won. You got beef for battling soon. Yeah, I'm about to retract my vote. <laughs> nah, seriously. Innuendo and O'Shea. Yeah, we're back at the uh, first semi-final of the two to test 200 pound tournament. Make some noise for your winners, O'Shea and Innuendo. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.